Hello? Hello. Hey. hey. It's the American way of saying hello. Hey. You can recognize, I suppose Americans, and or I mean, it's very insulting to call a Canadian person American, I know that. But, but American people, and I presume Canadian people as well, recognize one another that way when they go abroad. You see them. It's not, you don't even have to see them, you just hear them. <laughs> you don't recognize one another in a visual way. It's just because everybody seems to talk as if they're in a rodeo all the time. <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's different if you're English, you know, you sit around and you rifle through the local food and you complain, you say, what do you mean there's no chips? And if you're Irish, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a very particular way you, you, you recognize one another. You, you, you see guys and you know they're Irish because of their hair. <laughs> there's a phenomenon called Irish hair. You can walk into a bar and see 400 people and, and they all look like this. How's it going? I'll have a pint of mud, please. Thanks very much. Um, but before, before uh, we come over here, everybody said, Oh, Montreal, you know, you've got to eat out. It's full of restaurants. It's wonderful. And, and that's, that's all fine. We did. We went. We ate out. But I didn't enjoy it. Why can't they just make something that you eat at home? You know when you come in with all the shopping bags and you put them in front of you and you think, This time, this time, I will make something that has two colors in it. And you don't. You just end up eating it from the bag. <laughs> That's what they should have in restaurants. Fists of bread. <laughs> Dipped in anything runnier than bread. <laughs> I used to live with uh, two other guys, and we were very good cooks. We were very hygiene conscious. Well, we were very conscious that our lack of hygiene had created things that had consciousness. And uh, <laughs> we used to cook two things. The first thing was called cheese thing. <laughs> and that was where you get something and you melt some cheese over it and the first one to guess what it is doesn't have to wash up. But <laughs> that's obviously quite Mediterranean. The other one was, was less complex. It was just called Cheese fantasy. And that's where you come in very drunk at about five in the morning, you know, and find an apple and just pretend there's some cheese on it. <laughs> and also, people here seem to be very health conscious, I've noticed. I mean, I, I eat and, and do what I, what I like, you know, but here people are very concerned about all that stuff, about looking good, you know? And I, I don't like healthy people. <laughs> They've got nothing to say. I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm happy because I'm healthy, I'm healthy because I'm happy. <laughs> You'd smile like that if you had two yards of lycra up your arse. <laughs> they all, they look at the women, they have 98 teeth, they, they weigh as much as a photograph of themselves. <laughs> and the things these people eat, you know, alfalfa, seaweed. If you saw that on your shoe, you'd go, get that, get that away from me, get it away. <laughs> You can't stop yourself getting older. People are too worried about it. And, and, and I don't, the other thing I don't understand is all the drugs young people are doing. You know, I, I don't understand that. If, if you, uh, my body is going on me. If I, if I, if I want to rush, I just get out of a chair when I don't expect it. <laughs> and, you know, nobody smokes here. Not enough people smoke here either. They're all, they're all far too conscious of all that as well. And it's a bad thing. Everybody knows it's a bad thing. I mean, I know I'm going to give up. If I thought I wasn't, I'd quit now. But it's, it's just that it's the wrong time for me because I'm still technically alive. <laughs> and, and drinking as well. Everybody's very worried about drinking, you know? But the fact is, if you go out tonight and get completely blitzed, you measure what a good time you had by how much it messes you up. If you met, meet somebody tomorrow and they'll say, how was it last night? You'll go, it was fantastic. I can't see. 
I have no feeling on the right side of my body. You should have come, you'd have at least lost an eye. But you can't even enjoy drinking anymore because people have messed that up as well. You know, people talk too much about wine. You know, people used to be able to drink wine, not anymore, because people are going, look at the length, the breadth, look at the arse on that, it's fantastic. <laughs> There's two categories for wine. They, t they try and describe it to you. It's a wine you drink when you're walking down the stairs and you've got to tell somebody they don't want to hear, and it's very complicated, it's a flirt, it brings you to the airport, it won't buy the tickets, it, all that stuff. There's two categories for wine. There's one where you drink it and you go, Gah! And the other one where you go, Mmm, that's okay. Get nine of those, please. Can we get nine? And very occasionally you'll get the subtle ones where you drink them and you go, Gah! Oh, that's okay, actually. Yeah, that's okay. But I'm looking forward to my body going on me completely just so I can be in a restaurant with my son or daughter and lean over every now and again and say, You know what I just did? I just pissed myself. Ha ha ha! You deal with it. Because you can't stop getting old. Men say, I'm going to get old gracefully. How do you do that? You lose your hair, your teeth, you're red, you get fat, you're attracted to beige clothes. You look like a red snowman in a beige jumpsuit. If you're, a, if you're a woman, it's not any easier either because you get to a certain age, maybe you're not quite so attractive as you once were before, perhaps, maybe, I'm just suggesting, what do I know? And then... You're not so interested in sex or being alive, and then Mother Nature comes along and thinks, what can I do to improve the quality of this woman's life? What is it she needs? What's that magic thing I can give her? What does she want? What can I do? What, what, how can I give her some vim, some get up and go? How, how, I know a beard. <laughs> that ought to park her up. What can you do then except join a folk band? That's about all from me. Thank you very much. Good night.